Today, I'm excited to speak with Shantanu Gangal, CEO and co-founder of Prodigal, and Scott Hamilton, our industry principal, about some exciting new developments here at Prodigal. Shantanu, could you please kick things off by sharing what we're so excited about? Absolutely. For the last uh, 50 years or so, all credit decisions have been governed by a very, very standard set of things. And some of them were definitely cutting edge and ahead of its times when they were introduced. Uh, but it all boiled down to getting one statement in the mail that was stuffed in the envelope and sent to you. And then you would write a check and send it back. Uh, some of those things rely pretty narrowly on your ability to make a payment or two. Uh, but it doesn't take into account all of the wonderful kind of things that uh, you do with your lenders, banks, and so on and so forth throughout the course of a month. And we are really excited to kind of expand how lenders, banks, and financial services at large understand their customers and borrowers uh, by looking at not just a series of dots and dashes on the payment file, but also more holistically a 360 degree view on all interactions they have with these customers. Okay. And that's what we're excited about. So Scott, why is this offering so special and why is it particularly important to our industry? Uh, it's a good question. It, it's um, a lot of the reason why I joined Prodigal a couple of years ago. To, to Shantanu's point, um, being able to uh, understand what the customer is saying through surveys or maybe disposition codes on, on communications that you have with borrowers, um, it, it, it's really been quite difficult to truly understand wh where the customer is sitting, what their needs are, whether whether they're happy, what they plan to do next. It uh, Contact centers have been just a, a, a really dark room. Um, with humans talking to humans typically, but very, very difficult space to, to extract actionable information from. Um, what, what, what really got me um, excited was, was um, sort of how we do what we do. But what is really interesting lately is I, I think we're up to seven, eight, seven or eight different use cases that um, very, very rapidly become billion dollar problems in the industry that never before have, have sort of even been possible. And, and um, as we've uncovered those, I, I think we have a hundred percent sort of uh, level of excitement, uh, you know, 50 for 50 clients that we've talked to are excited about where this, uh, where this opportunity is going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So Scott, can you all also help us understand why Prodigal is uniquely positioned to solve this problem? Um, definitely. Uh, so I was, I was at a top 25 bank helping them. Um, I think the, the issue at the time was, um, what was the purpose of the call? It was a very simple question that was incredibly difficult to answer. Um, the tools that they had and, and, and virtually the whole industry has were, were very old school tools that were helpful, but, but not super accurate. Um, and that's when I met Shantanu, actually. I don't know if you remember this, Shantanu, but um, we we were trying to identify uh, the reason for a call in order, in order to make sure the QA testing was being done right. Um, and the more I learned, you know, a couple of weeks later, I was with Prodigal um, and subsequently just learned more and more. Essentially, what, what it comes down to in my mind is the models that we've built, the models that, that Shantanu and the rest of the team have built together with the data that the models have been trained on, you know, repeating that hundreds of millions of times, just the accuracy rate has, has now exceeded a human, which when the competition or and other alternatives are, you know, sub 50, it really is night and day. It unlocks all these insights that are, that are truly um, actionable that you don't actually have to go back and validate. And with that inflection point, just all sorts of really, really fun things uh, become possible. Yeah, for sure. So Shantanu, Scott mentioned a little bit about our artificial intelligence. Could you delve into a little bit more detail about how Prodigal's AI collects and analyzes data from customer conversations like calls and emails, texts, and even chats? And also what types of insights can it provide that we're previously unavailable? 
absolutely uh, we are very agnostic to the type of interaction you're having because we do a lot of work at our end to standardize and catalog it in a very very simple to understand manner the idea is you might have a text message exchange you might have an email exchange and obviously phone call and we we kind of catalog uh, we, we kind of quantify all of these interactions into very very standardized forms and we've gone through all of the trouble because it makes sense for us to understand the kind of interaction you're having and then the underlying insight what we do is understand the intent of the conversation which is why uh, we we informally call our all of our work all of the data science and machine learning work that we do as intent engine the idea is everything all of our statistical expertise is deployed to understand the underlying intent of the interaction and that may be over an email phone call text message web chat and so on so forth and in order in doing that we are able to find insights as to who's unsure versus who's sure who is expressing a lot of hope for the future who expects a change in their life station in the next 30 90 days because these are things that banks and lenders and really really care about and our ability to capture things that are mentioned in passing our ability to kind of touch upon things that may even be unsaid but you know just a catch in your voice or intonation will reflect it is something we are able to capture expand upon quantify and make available to financial services in a way that they can do it uh, our ability to do it uh, stems from uh, and firstly like a very very strong team but also just understanding this space extremely well and then learning and repeating and training and testing this across close to 300 million calls at this point and that gives us an edge that continues getting deeper and wider as a moat awesome well scott earlier you mentioned about some use cases uh, we'd love to hear some specific use cases demonstrating how this offering would benefit a lender servicing or loan operations yeah th there's there's a lot um the the few that come that have come up most often lately uh the conversation often starts with um uh, call qa automation um it, it very quickly when when you get comfortable with the accuracy rate of the models you you sort of learn what is now possible um, another set starts to, to come out in the servicing case um, understanding the reason for the call as simple as that sounds that's really really hard which then opens up um, automated complaint capture um, true calculations of first call resolution rate um uh to, to Shantanu's point life events for cross-selling and upselling and attrition these are all problems that that i wrestled with for gosh a couple decades um but just the data was impossible to get in and then in the collection space uh being able to extract new data attributes that are that are predictive of, of payment is one bucket for for segmentation strategies dialer strategies treatment assignment legal etc um, and then being able to share that data with um, your agencies your network where so that every time you you transfer the account the the new firm is not starting over you can extract real substantive agent and borrower behaviors the reason for delinquency their sentiment their their duration of of hardship these are things that are, are now available that are incredibly powerful. And, and um, that, that's what I'm hearing most of the demand is in those few buckets. Yeah, that's amazing. So Shantanu, Scott talked about a couple of them, but could you elaborate on the advantages this offering brings to company and business leaders within our industry? Specifically, how can it improve metrics such as revenue, costs, and even risk? Absolutely. A lot of the, a lot of the lenders specifically rely very heavily on credit scores, which is which is fine for a particular segment of borrowers, but a lot of borrowers who are you know thin file or no file, or they have limited histories, they just can't get advantages of it. However, in some ways, that is where the alpha lies. That is where the revenue lies. Being able to identify insights and signals 
much before they are common knowledge. Uh, being contrarian and right is where is, is how we help our customers make money. Let me explain that. So eventually, in, in a matter of like six to nine months from a particular life event, someone getting a new job, someone moving city, someone you know getting married and looking for a new car, six to nine months later, that becomes like public markets. All of that intelligence is baked into your credit score eventually. But our ability to kind of tap upon it and provide it to our customers six months ahead of being it being public knowledge is what kind of gives us an edge and alpha. That's the contrarian part. And right, because we kind of hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. So because we've kind of captured and verified these things and we are able to you know stitch it together across all engagements you've had gives us very, very verified uh, information. And so being contrary and right helps us make our customers make more revenue, reduce risk. And the fact that they don't then have to rely on a lot of people doing somewhat repetitive, somewhat mundane tasks reduces cost as well. So that is something uh, where we help them, we help them kind of get ahead of things becoming co complete and kind of public knowledge six to nine months later. Uh, and that that kind of helps them get into a relationship with a great customer. That helps them get out of a relationship with a not great customer and really drives profitability all in all. Yeah, it's amazing. They can create powerful strategies based on data they can't get anywhere else, on fresh data, really, too. That's so amazing. Um, Shantanu, can you discuss how this offering is adaptable to the changing needs of a growing business? Absolutely. So it is. We are built on a very, very scalable architecture. That means as you as you grow as a business, you actually capture <coughs> excuse me data from more consumers, but also you capture uh, more data per consumer, and we help you grow in that regard on more than two fronts. Let's say uh, because it is a completely scalable architecture, it is uh, it you can scale very, very easy easily by just making those calls. Uh, it is also completely modular. So for example, if you tomorrow decide that you want to expand into a different line of business, we are able to give you an ability to get insights into that line of business or that book of business uh, with a click of a button or a flip of a parameter in an API call. So those are the kind of things that make our modern software stack very, very easy to use for a fast growing business, any fintech or any consumer finance application that's looking to scale pretty quickly. Perfect. All right. Then, uh, yeah. Anything to add? Yeah. Just, just one thing, just it, it's um, all the tools and all the data and the hundreds of millions of calls and insights that we can create is, is what, what I find also interesting is the top five banks don't have this, but it's available to the smallest firms at the same price with with very little lift and and very if not any upfront setup it, it's very accessible super powerful and accessible not only to the the small medium and large but the super large all at the same time it's it's it, it's uh having built it all is now is the hard part now just providing access to, to people to plug into it is is uh exciting yeah for sure well, well, Scott, finally, can you let everyone know what they should do if they want to get in touch with us at Prodigal about the strategic insights that we can now offer to businesses, consumer finance businesses of all sizes? Sure. Um, yeah, just reach out to us. We, we have a, a great sales team, a great marketing team. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> um, I, I What I really love to do is simply to hear what uh, businesses are doing, what they're wrestling with, and I can just share what their peers are doing. Um, that this space is new to most people and simply to learn what is now possible is is really fun for 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 me. Um, I learn a lot, but um, we can share what is uh, reasonable and and what what others are doing. So uh, just reach out. I, we'd love to chat. That sounds great. Well, thank you both. Really appreciate it.